Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to my little gunsmith shop. Today, we're going to make weapons of destruction and sell them for profit because America. So yeah, we checked out the demo of this game uh, about a year ago now. It did really well on the channel, which I thought was hilarious because I know nothing about guns, and I still don't know anything about guns. I mean, I understand the very, very basics, but uh, I call a clip a magazine. People always get mad at me. So this is going to be fun. A lot of you are probably going to be mad at me, but I, I, I have to be honest, this is one of the most in-depth simulation games i've seen in a long time there is so many different stations here where we can do different things and uh yeah i'm super excited to get deeper into this one uh to just play with some of these tools because it looks fantastic so i did do the first job uh we already did that job in the demo of the game so if you did want to check that out you can go check it out i uh fixed up a colt for grandpa and now i'm kind of on my own so i can do whatever the hell i want all right so we have a few jobs we can actually do right now parts missing not working properly shorter shotgun i I kind of like the idea of doing a sawed off shotgun you know what let's accept that one for 150 bucks just because i want to play with a shotgun all right so it has a few damaged parts uh i wanted to give someone who do the job right well i just i've only done one gun so far so i don't i don't know if i'm the guy i know nothing about guns as i said uh but yes we have a shotgun here i guess we could technically do multiple jobs at the same time if we wanted to but i'm just gonna do one at a time all right. Yep, that's a shotgun if I've ever seen one before. Start the work. All right, so first and foremost, let's uh, disassemble this, and then we're going to make it a shorty. How the hell do I demount everything right now? Okay, this is the one I want, so we, we have to click mount on that. Got it. And now I need to take a gun apart. Where the hell do I even start? Oh, yeah, green things. Green things are good. All right, so, yeah, we're going to slowly go through this thing, and the small details in this are fantastic. How the hell do I see in here? Um, I'm still getting kind of used to the controls. Uh, I don't know. Can I remove this yet? Yeah. Okay. Remove that. Remove all these things. I have no idea what they are. I got to remove whatever that is out of that. A little spring out of that. <laughs> oh, God. I am screwed if I have to get too in-depth in this game. And I don't even know what the hell that thing was, but cool. It looks like we have half of a gun now. Is this what you wanted? A shorter shotgun? Am I done? I think that might actually be everything so we're gonna leave and now we got to disassemble the trigger mechanism i love the mechanics of things so this is I, I mean i am not a fan of guns if i'm honest but just opening up a gun is really interesting because they are quite mechanically interesting so there we go that's done um what do i have to do? take apart still uh, of course the action slide i i know exactly what, what this is it's a long pole and there is something at the end and a big old spring in there i'm assuming that's for like recoil oh my god there's so many freaking pieces and guns there we go i just saw that thing and that is everything so we have unnecessary okay because we're getting a shorter barrel we do not need these anymore i wonder if i can sell them for a profit uh we have broken firing pin and mainspring and we are missing a whole crap load of short attachments and then we got some dirty boys as well and actually a, a lot of it's still good as you can see Okay, so I think now we can just leave. We have to purchase some parts, but right now we need dirty parts to work on them. Do I have to grab them? Do I have to grab every friggin' piece? All right, hold the dump. So yeah, we got to get rid of these because this is of no interest anymore. So we'll do that right now. In the tutorial, it's just, yes, okay, there we go. I guess I had to do that first, but now I have to clean all these parts. So we'll do that real quick. Grab my rag, wipey wipe until it's nice and shiny. That is an efficient rag, if I do say so myself. What's nice about this is it just kind of cues up the, the items and I can just do it right away. I don't have to pick up anything, which is really, really nice. All right, and this game is brilliant. It actually gives me a, a buy list because I don't know what the hell I'm buying. So this is going to make my life way easier. <laughs> I thought I had to like find each piece that I need. There's auctions. We, we can buy like old rifles. Interesting. All right, 135 bucks. I'm only getting like $100 for this job. I feel like I should get a bit more than that for what I'm doing right now. I think this is going to be one of those games that is going to be uh, hard to earn a decent amount of money. Uh, we have a Mossberg, right? I'm pretty sure we do. I hope we do. Short magazine tube, short magazine spring, and main spring guide. Main spring guide. Oh, there it is. It was under my to buy list. Is that everything? I think that's everything. I have nine items. What was I not supposed to buy? Oh, yeah, the spring, I believe. So we take that to zero and buy. Okay, so I guess every order, I was worried that I'm going to be losing money here, but you get funds uh, for the order. So I'm actually gaining 25 bucks right now. 
unless I need to buy something else. So there we go. Order is done. And we have Amazon Prime, so it comes right away. Thank you. We'll take those parts. And then we just need to put them on the table. So we'll throw everything on the table. And is that everything? I don't remember what else they wanted me to do. I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, actually, I need to oil uh, the parts that, well, need oil. So I think it's... Okay, this is very easy. You just got to click them. Okay, and all oiled up. Now we just assemble and then we get to do the fun part which is testing this and making sure it's safe okay now we're getting into the good stuff action slide is on i can't put that on yet so just drop that um still can't put the barrel on what the hell am i doing oh god i why is it doing that it's so frustrating it goes back to the middle thank you yes i love staring on my gun man i think i should just zoom out and probably do this but it zooms in why are you doing this to me Okay, and now everything is coming together really, really well. Still can't do the trigger. I guess trigger is the last thing you do. And there we go. All freaking done. Look at me. I built a gun. All right. Uh, we can send it back or test it in the shooting range. I think you know which one I'm going to do. We're going to go out to the shooting range real quick and make sure this thing doesn't implode. No, no. Put the, no. Put the gun in the... Oh, God. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got target shooting. I feel like with, with a shotgun, that's probably the best way to go. I can also just pop up targets if I want to. I guess we can do that real quick. Obviously, being a shotgun, 50 meters is probably as far as you want to go. Pro okay, maybe 20 meters. <laughs> I don't know anything about guns. <laughs> Take that! There we go. Oh, I love actually looking at the target board. That's really, really cool. All right, so seems like a decent spread. I have no idea. Um, No, I want... Skeet shooting. I, th I thought this game had skeet shooting. Ah, there it is over there. I knew I wasn't crazy. Is that a duck? I just saw something fly by. Oh, I think it was just leaves. Damn it. Trap shooting and competitive skeet. Shoot at this flying away from you from one position. Skeet shooting by competition rules. I don't even... What, what, what are the rules? You shoot a disc. I'm just going to go for trap shooting because I don't even know what the rules are. And there we go. In this mode, you'll shoot from one position. Go to the highlighted position. Eight and follow the instruction. Okay. Press G to throw discs. After 20 thrown discs, game will end. Okay. Pull. And... Missed. Nice. <laughs> Alright, maybe we should try and aim down sight. That would be smart. I got it! I think. It's so hard to tell. I think it probably tells me at the end. Oh, that was a good one. That was a, that was a great shot. Okay. Alright. Getting better the, the further I go. And I did get the last one. 8 out of 20. Okay. Better than I thought, honestly. All right, well, important part is gun didn't implode, and uh, I seem to do have done everything right, so we'll send it back to the client and gain my hundred sad dollars. All right, so we pack this away in its case, and I think that's it. How did we do, game? I got a reward of $150, almost level three, and yes, I did have a budget of $400, so I think I gained that extra 25 bucks. All right, sick. All right, this could be interesting. This Colt, they want a nice pattern on it. I don't know if I have that unlocked or not yet, but I'm assuming it's not going to let me take the job if I don't. So, yeah, we'll try some pattern work after we fix this thing up. Oh, my God. Every um, holder of the guns are different, too. Obviously, this is an older gun, so it's in a wooden box. It's those details, man, and this one is rusty. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do a bit of work with this old one. This is going to be good. Oh, this is great. All right, there goes the trigger. We're just going to take the barrel off now. What is that? Oh, there's a screw there. Okay. And that pulls out the chamber or whatever they're called. Unscrew the actual barrel. And is that it? No, there's the whole trigger mechanism here. And by whole trigger mechanism, I mean two pieces, more or less. Okay, and the firing pin. And is that everything? I think there's still pieces. Yeah, there's definitely pieces on that firing pin. But I think we're done with that. So we'll pick up the firing pin mechanism, and is that everything? Nope, there's that little thing there. I don't know what that is, but we'll take it out. Oh, yeah, this is really dirty. This is taking me much longer because it is older. Um, oh, look at that. It's looking down the barrel. It's got that spiral design. What the hell do you want from me? Okay, there we go. But, yeah, you can see how rusty this one is compared to the other gun because it's so old. Still a little rusty, but okay. That's as good as I'm going to get it, I guess. And as long as it looks shiny and good, I guess that's good enough. All right. Cleaned. Now we need to buy missing parts. 110 bucks total. Uh, ooh. What? Wait, why? Why is the budget so low in this one? What? I didn't... Did I buy something wrong? I don't care. 
the hell? This lady didn't give me enough money or guy or whatever it is to pay for these parts, little jerk. That's annoying. I'm wondering if later on I, ha I can get a machine that can repair some damaged parts or something. And that's why? I have no idea. That's so weird to me. Um, but that is done. Now we get to assemble. Okay. And there we go. Just got to screw the grip on. And we are done. Take it to the paint room and make your gun beautiful. Damn right I will. So yeah, I do have this unlocked. You can customize paints before applying them. Let's see available options. Indeed. All right. So here we are. Uh, there are some pre-made patterns, which is pretty cool. Uh, but you can actually make your own as well. So, wait, how does this work? These are already the patterns that are on there. Oh, God. Oh, what did I do? That is so red. Okay, so you can create your own patterns in here. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. So, but I can only do, like, base patterns or base colors, I believe. Because I click new color here. Hit OK. And then I can choose whatever color I want. And paint with said color. Oh, what the hell did I just do? Oh, no. What? Why? Why? Oh, I put it in gray. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, but yeah, you can, I guess you can make your own patterns. I don't know how to do that. Oh my God, this is so bad. I'm so sorry. Um, we probably will change this, but I kind of like it too. <laughs> There's no shine. It's so flat. Oh, that's because of this. Uh, so you can change the glossiness. You can change the metallic. I want, you know what? Let's just get this black. Is that black? Is it, why, why the hell did it turn to a cloud? Um, oh, I mean, that's kind of all right. I want something simple, but I don't want camo. Why is it? Why do all guns have to be camo? Screw it. I'm going to do cheetah print <laughs> or cow print. What the hell is this? Okay. Trigger. I want yellow. Not this. Give me the, why can't I paint the trigger? All right. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to paint that and that. Why do I have to paint that first? All right. Actually big brain move. We'll go back and go to this and then paint this again. There we go. I got my golden or yellow trigger. <laughs> I've ruined this gun. Ah, uh, all right. I can obviously test any gun I want, but if I was to test every gun, we'd get nothing done in this game. I, I want to earn some XP so we can get new unlocks. So we're just going to send that one back. We leveled up and uh, I got 150 bucks and part, parts budget is 85 out of 85 now. I spent more than that game. What are you talking about? <laughs> all right. And let's up our skills. Mastery of particular guns will make them easier. Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. So if I do something three times, it looks like I'm better at it. Allows quick disassembly, allows quick disassembly and assembly. Okay, so it just makes actually working on those guns faster, which is really cool, actually. All right, so I put my first point into discount. I don't know if I want to keep going through that. Honestly, probably the best idea because it doesn't take too long to use the other tools in this game. And essentially all the other skills do is allow you to make uh, to use the tools faster. So I'm all about earning more money. So we're going to do 10% discount. Okay, so I also get random emails. So what the hell is this? Doesn't have its own weapons. Do you have access to auctions? If not, check out the PC and bid auctions tab. There should be some auctions with decent weapons for you. You can buy specific weapons and test them in a workshop or shooting range. You can drive there without any orders just with your private guns. Remember that orders are actually more important than just simple fun with one weapon. You need to eat something or buy more weapons, right? Can I sell those weapons that I buy though on the auction site? Because that would be really cool. Oh my god, you could even set up alerts if you're looking for a certain gun. Like, you know what? I would love an Uzi. So set up an alert for an Uzi. Um, and it's going to let me know when there's an auction for it. This game goes deep at a lot of things. But Larry needs my assistance. Um, it's your grandpa again. And I guess Larry's my grandpa, by the way. I got another weapon, as promised. You'll need to work with sandblasting. Okay, cool. And a bluing station. I can blue in this game? Oh yeah, we're definitely doing this just to see these tools in work. Uh, and we're going to be working on an AKM, I guess. All right, so a big old gun, a big old Russian gun. Nice. All right, so first and foremost, as per usual, disassemble time. All right, uh, a lot more detailed than I thought an AKM would be. I thought Russian rifles were very basic, but uh, yeah, there was, it took me forever to take this thing apart. But we're done. Actually, as you can see, fantastic gun. Uh, hence probably why they want it blued and all fancy pants. Uh, so we just need a few pieces cleaned. I don't need to buy anything. Fantastic. All right. So our first time using the sandblasting machine, we are going to be removing some rust this time and power. Yeah, we'll turn that on light. Sure. Dust collector. No, I don't want it on. Yes, of course we have to put it on. Um, what the hell am I doing? Okay. Just click, just click it. I'm assuming. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. 
So it's kind of like the rag, except you're using sand, obviously. Oh, this is going to take a while. Okay, this is cool. Oh, it's a little bent. Should I be worried about that? Is it supposed to be bent, game? Maybe I should just buy a new one. And I got a new skill, metalworking. All right, so I guess I have to get the skill from my grandfather, Larry, to start using these machines. And obviously, we'll get more complex jobs as we unlock these things. All right, this is what I'm really excited for. We get the op, we get to oxidize, but I need to put on my protective clothing, don't I? I guess not. No? Okay. Safety first, not needed in this game. All right, request gas delivery. Any gas? What the hell's wrong with me? Where, where the hell do I do that? Oh, I just click it. Okay, $5 for gas. I think it's worth it. That's actually really cheap. And we have our gas now, so we can oxidize. There we go. Put it down. Click to toggle heating. Yeah, we probably want that on. Oh, I don't, I don't know what any of these chambers are, but I probably don't want to put my hands in there. And now we put on the safety stuff after we're playing with it for so long. <laughs> I feel like I should have done that first. Oh my god, I feel like such a badass though. Okay, so muzzle break. We are going to blue that. Clean parts in caustic soap solution. Bluing salts, w cold water rinse, caustic soap. So we start there. I'll put it in there, shake it a bit. Good. Nice. It's kind of like deep frying for for metal is what I'm getting at. Cold water next. So you just go down the thing, right? And then bluing tank, aka bluing salts. Now they're going to be nice and blue. This one's taking a little bit longer. That makes sense. Second rinse in cold water. Okay, so we have to go back to cold. Don't want to screw this up. And then you rinse in hot water. I wonder why you do that. Go from cold to hot. And we got some very blue parts. So click to pick up. All right. Well, that was fun. We'll get out of that room, and some parts are bare. Use bluing tanks to oxidize them. Wait, what? I... I just did. All right, so for whatever reason, I have to do this one part again. Did I forget to do it or something? I guess I did. God damn it. Okay. Second try, and it worked. So we'll go back over to the main workshop, and we just got to treat the parts with oil. Only three parts on this. Interesting. So AKMs don't need much oil, clearly. Unless that was just the parts that I changed. And back to assembly mode. Okay, and there we go. All done. We have a wonderful AKM that I'm going to ruin because I suck at painting. But uh, the game wants me to paint it, so I shall do it. All right, I kind of feel like this kind of matches. Painting complete? No, it's not. Hold on. Oh, God, it's so... Those patterns are so over the top, man. All right, whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. So I think I'm going to keep some of those pieces black just because I like the look of it. That's good enough for me. Uh, we'll take it more glossy. I love how I can change the scale as well. All right, I'm just going to put some more brown in that. Try and max, match the wood a bit. Uh, I think I'm happy with that. Again, I just want to... Do I want to weather it? Yeah, I like weathering for some reason. You can even put stickers on if you want, but that's just too cringe for me, so we're not going to do that. And we're going to finish up with that. I mean, that's a little better, I guess. <laughs> Still pretty ugly. Okay, so I'm testing it on the table. Testing table. Okay, I didn't even know this was a thing. I thought I had to go to the gun range to do it. Click to pull. Is that safe? I mean, it's working. Reloads. This is cool. I do want to test this one at the shooting range. So we're going to head out real quick and go test it out. All right, let's try 60 seconds. Uh, 60 seconds to shoot down as many targets as possible. So pretty simple. Uh, yeah, I, I understand what I'm doing, game. Thanks. And here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't realize they'd be so close. Oh, we got the recoil. I mean, it seems to work well. I doubt it's very accurate, but it is an AKM after all. Reload. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I'm screwed. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's get some far shots, man. I want to see how accurate this thing is. Last six seconds. Just reloaded. So I'm going to try and go real fast here. Doesn't have to be accurate. Just has to take down the target. So, that's as far as they go, and we're done. Target shot down 45 and 60 seconds. I feel like that's pretty good. All right, I just want to try a couple far shots just to see how it is. We'll try 820 feet. That's that's insanely far. So, if I can even hit this, that would be great. Compensate for bullet drop. Totally missed. <laughs> okay, I hit the board, but I didn't even get a point. I mean, this is pretty friggin' far. I feel like 100 meters is like max for something like this to at least accurately aim. So, let's try this. And there we go. That's a seven. A little bit better. Eight. I mean, it seems pretty accurate. I'm happy with it. All right. Load that up for Larry and send it back. 
And we'll see if we get any more quests from Larry anytime soon. Grandpa's AK, which has unlocked metalworking and oxidation for me. I'm super excited to go deeper into those, though, because there's a lot, like, there's a lathing machine and everything. So I should be able to build my own parts, a milling machine. Like, there's so much to this. I'm really excited to go deeper into it. Can't use this tool right now. There's a chisel. I don't even know what you would do with a chisel, honestly. I guess wood working would make the most sense. Um, yeah, I'm just, I, I love all these stations. And uh, obviously, be knowing nothing about guns, I'm super excited to learn more if you guys are enjoying this, of course. So let me know what you guys think. Once again, this is Gunsmith Simulator. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.